Hey guys, Testry here. I'm going to bring you a quick video on how to get that item that's up there. Now, this might be common knowledge to some of you, but I know for me, I only figured out where this was a few days ago. Um, mainly just because I kind of forgot it was even there after I, like, got through this area. I never really came back and tried to figure out what that was, so, uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you where that is right now. I'm going to go and I'm going to get out of here, go to the top of the tomb, and then I will continue from there. I will see you guys in just go back. You can see here, I'm just in front of the tomb. Now, where you want to go to actually get into that area is right over here. As again, this might be common knowledge to some of you by now, but I only forgot about this a few days ago, and I'm going to figure there might be at least one other person who also didn't know this was here. So if you just come to the back of the tomb, don't jump off there. Oh. Shit. Alright, that didn't happen. You saw nothing. Anyways, let's go ahead and do that again. So as again, you're gonna go back here. I don't know why that's there. Nothing, nothing at all happened. But yeah, there's a beach down there. I showed you on the map. So that's where we're gonna go right now. So now we're actually gonna do this the right way. And come down this way. Mind the bat creatures. Out of, out of my way! Jesus Christ. Ooh, that would have been bad. Right, so anyways, what we're gonna do is if you look down here, hopefully I don't fall again. Alright, so there, you can see, that's the beach down there. We gotta get to this corner of the beach that's over here. So the way you want to do that, because if you come through and you just follow that edge down there, you might see some spots that look like you should be able to drop, but there could be a good chance you'll also die. And if you look, you'll probably see a bunch of blood stains when you are doing this as well. That'll just let you know to not try that. So what you want to do is go here. I also almost always forget that this bonfire, I mean, checkpoint is here. I'm just going to grab it real quick. And there is more than one way to get down there from here. You can find one of the pillars and you should be able to jump all the way down. But another thing you can do is once we're at the edge here, if you look down, you should see a wind tunnel. You see it right there. And I think you might have, I think you are also able to go down that way and then jump on the tunnel. But you can also just make it from here. There you go. Now, there is like a little mini boss guy over there, you can see him. I have not fought him in this uh, character, but I have beaten him, he gives you an Ash of War. I'll show you which one. I'm gonna go ahead and piece him up real quick. And there he goes, and he gives you the Ash of War Gravitas. Which is that move you just saw him doing where he sticks his sword in the ground and it pulls you near him. So, if you didn't know where that was, now you do. And yeah, I don't think you need to beat him to actually get in here, but, you know, if you want the Ash of War, might as well. But now we're here, and that was the only thing you really have to fight once you get in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and make a pit stop here. And there it is, the Halleck Drake Talisman. If you're curious about what that does, it just boosts holy damage negation, so, uh, I mean, I guess it could be useful in certain situations, but, uh, you do get a plus two somewhere else, I forget exactly where, it might be in the Hallig Tree, I don't remember, I, I have one on my other character, but I don't remember where I got it from, um, uh, but anyways, yeah, so, that was all I really had to show for you guys, I want to appreciate the support I've been getting recently, and, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let me know what else you want to see. And I'll talk to you later. See ya.